We have a go for main engine start, T minus five. The world is watching the wind down of America's space shuttle program, with many calling it the end of an era. And liftoff of Discovery. The excitement of the shuttle program is launching into a different kind of excitement down in Melbourne. Not Melbourne, Australia, but Melbourne, Florida. Why Melbourne, Florida? International companies like aviation giant Embraer are pouncing on the workforce the shuttle is leaving behind. And it's boosting the Melbourne, Florida economy. It appears it does take rocket scientists to reboot an economy. Consider this. $10 million in annual payroll, 200 new jobs. But more than that, Embraer is bringing a boost for Melbourne's economy. And it shows companies all over the world why Florida is the best place to do business. Like many communities, the Melbourne, Florida region has had its ups and downs in this economy. But unlike other communities, Melbourne has one enviable attribute. Make that 8,000 attributes. The most highly skilled available workforce in the world. On President's Day, international executive jet manufacturer Embraer opened its doors in Melbourne with 200 jobs to start and more down the road. With billions of back orders on its Phenom 100 and Phenom 300 executive jets, Embraer is capitalizing on the brain trust readily accessible in Melbourne. Embraer joins other global companies who wisely see this as a workforce worth pursuing. And we selected Melbourne as a location that has the best offering in terms of combining both industrial and customer operations. Uh, Melbourne has availability of a highly skilled labor force. Melbourne has a pro-business climate that the state of Florida provides. Melbourne is very close to our base in Fort Lauderdale. And besides all that, of course, it's such a, such a beautiful place. Congressman Bill Posey and U.S. Senator Bill Nelson agree that this is an area whose time has come. Nelson was an astronaut himself and brings a unique perspective to the quality of the workforce that launched him 25 years ago. Embraer's new facility is finally going to be here. And this facility, along with 200 new high-paying jobs, should give our area's economy a boost, and not only now, but for years to come. I'm grateful that Embraer decided to call Melbourne home, and I hope that other companies are gonna recognize what they did, that we have a highly skilled workforce, and we have favorable climate, and it makes the Space Coast an ideal location for high-tech business opportunities. This area is paradise for those seeking a highly trained workforce in the technical or aviation fields. From the mechanics to mission specialists, there's an unfathomable resource of highly skilled workers in the Melbourne area. I think what international aviation giants like Embraer, Northrop Grumman, JetBlue are discovering is what the Harris Corporation discovered a long time ago. The hidden key to our source of success is the Melbourne International Airport. The airport has more than 500 acres of available contiguous land. Port Canaveral is just down the road, and the airport's runway is long enough to land a space shuttle. Suppliers like General Electric welcome Embraer to the Melbourne neighborhood. We have a long history with Embraer, and we're very excited about providing the uh, air management system on the Phenon 300. At the heart of all of the expansions is Melbourne International Airport. With 500 acres of contiguous land, most with runway access, the airport has done a good job of letting the world know it's ready for them. In just the past six months, the airport has landed a trifecta of economic good news, announcing that it has brought in three companies with a projected 900 new jobs. How are they doing it? Melbourne Mayor Harry Good knows exactly what to tell companies that come knocking on his door looking to relocate to his city. What do I tell them? Come on down, the weather's fine and the workforce is incredible. There is hope on the horizon, and in Melbourne, Florida, it is rocket science.